Hello guys, welcome again. In data structure learning series using Go language, today we are on doubly linked list. So first of all, we understand what is the concept of doubly linked list, then we will implement some operation of doubly linked list in this video and other operation we will perform in next videos. So here in doubly linked list, we have previous node address we have a next node address because it's a doubly so we have a previous node information also and next node information also with some information you see the a node having some information then we have a previous means nil because this is the first node so do not have a previous information then in the next we have a b so b is the second node second node b having information of previous node so previous node is a, a. That's why B having information in prev means previous the node of the A address. The B having a next node information of C. So in a next we have a information of C. Similarly, the C is the last node. So do not have a information of next node. That's why the C next is nil. And previously we have a B node. So C previous having a B. So this is the way of doubly linked list. And in doubly linked list, we create two main nodes, the head and tail, head having a information of first node and tail having a information of last node. So if I insert some node in linked list, like I want to insert a node at the end, there are some, there are so many operations in, in this operation, I am explaining the inserting a node at the end. So if we add a node at the end, suppose I insert some value like 78 at the last. So this previous P should have a address of C here and we last node we have a nil and this C which having a nil should have a address of D and D is the last next node like this. So this way we perform the insertion. And if we want to display the information of doubly linked list, so you, you, you know that we, uh, the last node is D now, so we have to change the trail also with D. So we have to remove the C and D would be the next trail node. And remember that we can traverse in order and in reverse order in both, in ascending and descending order both. We can traverse in ascending and descending order in doubly linked list because we have an address of A the first node and we have an address of D the last node. So we can start from A to D and we can also start from D to A. So in both direction we can traverse and we can display information from left to right or right to left means from A to D and D to A all information we can display. So in this video we will see how we can display the node in ascending order by using head or we can also learn how we can display by traversing in a reverse order. And we will see how to insert a node at the end of the doubly linked list. These three operations we will see in this video. In next video, we will see some other operations like insert at a specific position, delete from a first node, delete the last node and delete from a specific position. There are so many operations are there. Those we can perform later on. So here what we do. Uh, here I just start to create a doubly linked list. So I say package main. Then I create my structure. So I say type and I say node struct. So this node having some information number. Then having node I say previous node information. Then have a next node information like this. We have one more structure. And I say this is doubly linked list, doubly linked list structure. And here I have the length means the length of the queue, uh, double uh, sorry, length of the doubly linked list. And uh, we have uh, the head node. Then we have a trail node, 
rail node information so like this i create the structure for w link list now i just create a main function so i create here the object of w link list like this now i create choice choice string type then i say for true fmt dot println enter your choice like this fmt dot println first choice is enter node at we can say insert node at end fmt dot println second choice is traverse or display fmt dot print ln third choice is traverse or display in reverse in reverse order okay next one is last one for this video choice is fourth one is exit save it now we have a choice scan ln choice switch case choice i say case one like this so i copy and i say case two case three and case four is default so default is os default is os dot exit like this i say second choice i say third choice so now i create the method for this so i take uh, data from the user for inserting in a node and uh, i ask for data print ln i say enter number then i say fmt dot scan l here i take data like this then i convert this into number like this then i call dll dot uh, that would be my first d link so dll dot we say insert at last here i pass number second one is display so i say dll dot display like this third one is reverse so dll dot display reverse like this now i create these method 
so first method insert at last so i say uh, func dll doubly link list like this i say insert at end and i pass num here like this so i create a new node where temp equal to node like this and i say temp dot number equal to num temp dot next equal to nil and temp dot previous equal to nil now i check if this dll dot head equal to equal to nil and head dll dot trill equal to equal to nil and equal to equal to nil that means both are nil no node are available so what we have to do dll dot head equal to temp and dll dot trill equal to temp so both pointing to the temp else we have to take insertion from the trail position so i say the temp node which i created that previous node of this temp should be the trail the tail node so that would be dll dot tail that would be the previous node and dll dot trail dot next dot next would be the temp and then dll dot tell would be the temp and i increase the length of this to len plus plus like this you see the temp the new node previous should be the previous tell because it would be the last node and the existing trail next would be the temp and trail would replace the temp and already we have the next in the last so now traverse function we have display and display reverse so one more function i create i say dll doubly link list and i say display function like this so i create here a node p of node type equal to dll dot head so from the head we are starting a traversing so i say for p not equal to nil and fmt dot print ln and print f we choose print f percent is d and in link list we want to display and i say dlp dot number and p equal to p dot next like this and if i want to display in reverse order just i copy the same function i say display reverse here i just write trail and here i say uh, previous of this and i save it so display in sending order and the in reverse order so i think the done and now i try to uh, run this so i say go run doubly link list enter node at end so first choice and i say 23 
once again another i want to insert and i say display in reverse order and sorry in ascending order so first one was 23 so 23 is there second was 56 so 56 is there if i say in reverse order you see 56 is the first node and 23 is the last node so in this video we have seen that how we can insert one more node i am inserting just for demo purpose if i say 2 the normal if i say 3 the reverse order you see everything is clear here so in this video we have learned how we can insert a node at the end of the doubly linked list and how we can traverse in ascending and descending means the in this ascending order in a reverse order in a normal form or in a reverse form in doubly linked list and we have seen the operation also in this diagram how we can perform these operations and we have also learned the programming in a go language in next video we are going to learn more operations like uh, uh, you can say delete from the beginning delete from the end delete from a specific position and insert at a specific position insert in the beginning so there are so many operations those are waiting for you in next video thank you for watching this video if you learn anything from this video kindly do subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video